all right so phd survival guide sitting on stage at my phd graduation was one of my proudest moments it represented years of hard work and sacrifice i sat on the raised platform overlooking the crowd while wearing a red graduation robe with silver trim and black felt floppy hat at that moment it was easy to forget the journey to get there was less than smooth at the end of my first year my supervisor reported me at risk of failure it was easy to forget that my primary supervisor relationship had broken down it was easy to forget that i had broken a 20000 dollar piece of equipment in my second year it was easy to forget that i had failed more than i had succeeded looking back on my phd the struggle was never the research the issue arose from relationships poor choices and bad planning i didn't glide gracefully through my phd rather i had managed to tumble through my phd research grabbed enough results on the way through produce a thesis and survived long enough to end up in a silly floppy hat i know that many phd graduates experiences are the same many have survived but only just one wrong choice or ill fated relationship could have derailed their choices of graduation their chances of graduation 3 years earlier i started my phd adventure not knowing what a phd was how it worked or even if i could finish all i knew was that i had achieved a first class master degree from a uk university which gave me a ticket to a phd in australia brilliant bring on the sunshine beaches adventures and wait what a literature literature review yuck the real challenge of working in academia and doing a large research project was soon apparent there were times when i questioned my ability to complete a phd maybe i was i was not smart enough after all i was from a working class background the first person to go to university in my family and perhaps i had picked in my undergraduate degree sure i did well in my undergraduate degree but this was different i could not use the skills i had gained in revising and acing exams anymore these skills were useless one of the main issues that i thought would become my down fall was my main supervisor's personality i had three supervisors during my phd and how it clashed with mine at the time i was unaware of the internal politics playing out between my three supervisors and the constant academic struggle and games they were secretly playing between themselves if i had known more about this extremely political side of academia at that at the time maybe i would have been much more empathetic with my supervisors than i was or maybe it would have 
scares me away from academia altogether and then came my attitude towards my phd i was not particularly diligent phd student i struggled with managing my day and avoiding the lure of student bar in the early days a phd was a great opportunity to extend the student lifestyle i loved during my undergraduate and delay my adult life participation who wants to deal with a job saving for a house kids etc not me i could get away with extending this lifestyle with the approval of society after all it was a phd to help my career and turn me into a rich professor upon graduation i made my parents and family proud by simply being a phd student they didn't care about my progress with papers or research mere el- enrollment as a phd student was enough that fact certainly didn't help my motivation and the allure of the student bar and facebook was often too strong to resist like most phd students i made it to the end despite those issues completely disillusioned with academia i entered an industry role as an explosive chemist i quickly learned that industry was not right for me and i re-entered the academic system where i started a postdoc got funding and started playing the academic game over the 10 years of being on the postdoc treadmill and working in academia i learned more about what i did wrong during my phd and witnessed many phd students commit the same mistakes as me here i here is what i wish i had known about surviving a phd and setting my future self for success what this book will help you to do my hope for this book is that it will help you survive your phd by giving you tool and confidence for tackling the common challenges that rear their ugly heads during academic research i will walk you through the process of doing a phd and what you need to know about choosing a phd supervisor topic and university we will talk about the common issues that people face during their phd and how you can deal with the unexpected twist and turns that inevitably happen during a phd interestingly most issues are relatively easy if not little confronting to solve when phd students came to me with problems they typically involved people rather than research therefore this book can help you with whatever research field and topics you are in investigating as academia and people performing research have more in common than we would admit in my mind surviving a phd is not just about tackling the day to day issues but also being able to live a phd confident motivated and enjoying the last 3 plus years of academia research academic research there is no doubt in my mind that a phd has a, has the potential to provide you with skills and experiences for thriving outside of academia it is about making sure that you are not burnt out disillusioned or unprepared for life after graduation by the time you get there this book will give you a much clearer understanding of the important decisions before during and after your phd the advice comes from my experiences 
and the changes in the academic system I witnessed during my 15 years in academia as a postdoctoral researcher and fellow.